we haven't seen an assassination attempt on a president or presidential candidate since 1981. That's when President Ronald Reagan was shot in Washington, D.C., the Secret Service agent who took a bullet for him speaking with us tonight. The assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump during a rally in Pennsylvania hitting close to home for Tim McCarthy. This is an attempted assassination of the former president of the United States and the soon to be nominee of the Republican Party. So this is a very, very serious matter. The former Orland Park police chief spent eight years assigned to the Presidential Protective Division in Washington, D.C. In 1981, he was shot in the line of duty while protecting President Ronald Reagan during an assassination attempt. It gets pretty tough out there in the campaign trail and people's emotions run high, but this is, is cannot happen in our country. Senator Dick Durbin saying on social media in part, quote, political violence is never acceptable. I'm keeping the former president, the bystander who was tragically killed, and all who were injured or whose safety was threatened in my thoughts. We as a country need to take a strong look at some of the political rhetoric that's coming out of both sides in order to kind of tamper that down, because I think that kind of leads to things like this. Those sentiments shared by former Illinois House GOP leader Jim Durkin, who has been critical of Trump in recent years, but says now the country needs to unite. It's terrible. I wish campaigns would be that would be fought over words and ideas as opposed to violence. And today is a, a horrible example, but we're unfortunate uh, and we're uh, praise God that uh, President Trump has, has survived. And in a statement, former President Barack Obama says he's wishing Trump a quick recovery. Also, Chicago has a historical connection to similar incidents. In fact, in 1933, Chicago Mayor Anton Cermak was shot and killed during an assassination attempt on then-President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Rob Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.